I'm Jaden Lam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are entering chapter six, and chapter six is tag your it. So and we are learning about potential beat. So remember to stay tuned to Edu Beat and me. Let's start a new project. Okay, now let's create it. Then you go add extension. Then create any bit. We will need games. Then we will need start countdown. Take away the one, two, three, and oh. We go create player and chaser. So the player is the one that plays and you control it, and the chaser is the one that moves around. So let's continue and set chaser. And duplicate, change it to player. In step four, we'll go to games. And get the first one, which is create sprite. Two of them and zero of five. Then it's time for step five. We'll need turn right and put ninety. This one will change it to play, and we need player set brightness. Go to games, which is this, and carry it here. We change it to player, and this one is fifty over here. This X, you click it, and you have X and Y, and the Almost the most bottom, it's on top of blink. It's brightness. Then click it. It'll set it. Okay. So the number is fifty. Step seven. We'll need to go to input. Get button A and button B press. Go to games and get move by. Okay, change it to player and duplicate. Carry it to button press and change it to negative one. And we gonna create a function. And we name it game. After that, we press number. Okay. Now when we done, we have this. Let's carry it to the bottom. Here. Okay. And we put chaser to the right. Okay. There. Change it to chaser, and here we'll pick random. Okay, pick random zero to ninety. Okay, ninety. Chaser move by one. If you don't want to just change it like that, we can put this to trash, and we go over here to get and put it. It's gone. Okay. Now we will need chaser if on edge bounce, which is in game. There. 
and change it to chaser okay now step 11 we'll need two if troops Okay. Now in step twelve, we'll need to have is sprite touching edge. Oh, not this. And we'll need set score. the bottom and it's all out there set score and we need to go to map and get this put it over here and go back to game and get one score Plus one. Now, a sprite touching and one little gap will need go this and put it over here. At the bottom, we'll go to game and get game over. Now it's time for step 13. We'll change this, oh, this to chaser and change this to chaser also. And we'll need to go to basic and get pause. It's at the bottom here. And we'll carry the speed here. Now here we'll add a player. Just carry it and put it there. Okay, so it's time for step 15 to add difficulty. We go back to the forever and we'll need call game. And if true, else if or else. Okay, go to logic. We'll get this and add, 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 add. Okay, now we'll get call game in function. And we need the first one to be 250, the next one to be 500, and the third one to be 750. These numbers are actually the speed. And for step 17, we'll go to the potential bit. Over here. And we'll get this one to put it here, duplicate, put it here. The number, the first one is 800. Oh, I can control from here. Okay, if it's too hard, we can do this to put the number. And the second one is 400. I'll try to control it. Oh, now my, I'll just write. Okay. Now when we are done, let's see. Oh, so the code is complete. Let's check the simulator first. Oh, look, it 
it's moving. I cannot click this thing. Oh, I died. At the forever, the potential value is the speed. We have 250, 500, and 750, which is speed. And on start, we'll count down 30 seconds. And count, 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 count. If the 30 seconds is up, means game over. And over here, we set the chaser, which is the one that is moving around, to start over here. Let me show you. Okay, so it will start here. And then the player, it will start here. Then the player, turn right. And the player set brightness to 50. And wait, okay. So the brighter one is the player. Okay, so this is the player because it's brighter. And on button A press, negative one means to go up. And, and button B, player move by one to move down. And on the function, which is from here forever, when we call it, then we we'll call this. So the chaser will turn right by anyway because it's pick random. And chaser move by one, that means to move. And if the chaser is on edge, then it will bounce. If Chaser is touching the edge, then set score by 1. If the chaser is touching the player, then it will game over. And we can flash it in the edit. Okay, let's play. I have 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. I'll make it slower. Okay, it's slower. Okay, and run, run, okay, oh no, oh no, okay, let's add it faster, whoa, oh, time's up, so it's time, it's up, and let's see, My score is 35. I have 35. Yay! In Break the Code, it's telling us we can add music, which is melody, in front of the game or when game over. And in Explore More Blocks, we can use show number and put a potential meter value. It could show the number between 0 to 1023. And next, fun facts is telling us about how potential meter works. Like the radio. The radio, how to turn it loud and soft is using potential meter. That's it for this chapter. In chapter 7, we are going to do let's hear the applause. And we are using sound bit. So thanks for watching, remember to stay tuned to my channel, remember to subscribe, like and ring the bell. Bye!